Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Miss Ashley coming back um, with your enrichment time today. I hope that you have had um, a good few lessons today. You've had a chance to get up and play a little bit and move. You've eaten some good food and you've spent some time with your family. So I'm glad you're joining me. I tried to get my kids to come help me with this video today and they would not. Can you believe that? But that's okay. We're going to have fun. So today for enrichment, I have got an art activity for you and then I will share an exercise video if that's something that you want to get up and do um, and do for your movement break. So first art and then exercise. So the art activity um, that I have for you today actually comes from our news to you. So if you want the format of this, if you want the symbol icons and the step-by-step -step directions for your child to follow, then you're welcome to pull that up. Just pull it up on your computer. Um, you don't really have to print it. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but you can just pull it up um, on your computer so that you'll have it actually in color um, with the symbol icons. So today we're going to do a craft, and we're talking about sharing happiness. And we've talked about how some people are painting rainbows either in their windows or with chalk on the sidewalk. So we are going to make today a rainbow picture. So we're talking about um, the reason why people are sharing these is to make other people feel better. Um, and so for this craft today, we're going to make a picture of a rainbow and it's a kind of art called a mosaic. Can you say mosaic? It's kind of fun to say that. So a mosaic is a work of art created by putting together pieces of paper or stones or glass or any kind of materials to make a picture or design. So for this craft, we are going to use paper and then we, or I, hopefully you will too, um, we're going to tape this in the window so that when people go by, uh, my house you can't really see really good from the road, but maybe your house you can. And if you tape it up in your window, other people can see it and maybe it'll make them smile. So parents, this is just a side note. I think I've shared this with you before, um, but I'm going to do it again. So when I do activities in the classroom, I really like to have all the materials um, on a tray or even if I don't have all the materials on a tray, have trays with what they need and then they can get other materials that they need and put it on a tray. This just kind of keeps everything together and actually I think this was like, um, it's not a bacon tray, it like, I think it came out of my husband's smoker actually, but it's just the perfect size to hold all my stuff so I keep stealing it. And plus it's um, metal and it's magnetic and so if I've got my little um, letter magnet tiles on here, then I can do that too. But anyway, if you just have like a little baking tray or something like that, these work perfect um, just to designate a space to work. So usually the materials will stay in the tray and not kind of everywhere. So I don't like this. Use that if you want to. Okay. So what do we already know about sharing happiness? And I like this little icon. It shows um, a little boy sitting at the desk raising his hand. You probably don't have to do that while you're at home, but it does help to know who, who wants a turn to talk. So we practice your turn, my turn. So when you raise your hand, it lets somebody know that you want a turn, okay? So we know that many people are sharing happiness to help others feel better. Look. That's our symbol for share. Some people are putting pictures of rainbows into their windows. Look, can you point to that rainbow? Others see the pictures and the pictures can help others feel better. So that, this is a little icon. That's somebody going, you guys know what that means. Doing good, right? Doing good. So, what can we do? 
we can make pictures of rainbows and we can put the pictures into our windows. Now, here's what you need for this art project. You need a glue stick, and so I've got mine in my tray. You need a copy of the rainbow page, but you don't really need this. This is really something that you could just draw out, but I'll show you what it looks like if you would like. So this is in the files. And it's just a rainbow, and it's got these letters on there. Guys, what are these letters? What's that letter? Hey, Annie Apple. B, Bouncy Ben. C, Clever Cat. And D, Dippy Duck. So this is in the files. And I actually did print it, but you could draw that. Really simple. Okay. And then it says red paper pieces okay so i have got some red paper here can you tell me which one's red yep i've got some red in there and then it says yellow paper pieces can you show me which one's yellow yep right there and then it says green paper pieces Notice mine are not in pieces yet. I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay. Got some green. And then it says blue paper pieces. But look what Miss Ashley did. I marked out blue and I wrote orange. You want to know why? Because I didn't have any blue paper. I've looked everywhere. I have no blue paper. And it's okay if we need to substitute, isn't it? Sometimes we have to do that for a recipe. That's real life. That's a life skill. Sometimes we have to substitute, and that's okay. So I marked out blue, and I put orange, because I did have some orange paper at my house. And then if you want to hang this in your window, then you just need some clear tape. So like I said, I've got all of my materials together in my tray. I actually printed several of these because I thought my kids would do them with me, but that's okay. They didn't. Okay, so this asked for paper pieces, and the reason why I have not cut these in pieces yet is because I wanted to show you a couple different ways if you want to do it. If you want to go ahead and cut um, pieces of paper for your child, you are welcome to do that. If your child um, is one that is practicing, like maybe one of their goals is um, cutting paper, make this an opportunity to draw some bold lines and let them cut or just let them free cut. There's nothing wrong with them just practicing this movement, just free cutting. It's okay if it, it's the corner, if it looks like that. They don't, you know, they don't have to be they don't have to be like perfect. Okay, if your child just needs um, some fine motor skills and you don't want to do the scissors or you don't have any scissors, just let them rip the paper. This is great. This just makes your art a little bit, bit more um, tactile when you glue it. So that's fun. A lot of kids like that sound that paper makes when it rips. It can be kind of therapeutic to them. And that is just fun. Let them sit with their tray and just rip up some paper. That would be great. Okay, so however you want to do that. You're the parent. You decide. <laughs> okay, so I've got, let me put this paper back behind mine so it doesn't show through. If you decide that you do want to pull this up, there are directions. And we are learning um, about following one step directions at a time, sequencing directions. So we've talked about starting at number one and then following the numbers. In this case, we have one, two, three, four, and five. And your directions say number one, glue red pieces onto section A on your copy of the rainbow page. And look, it says glue the red paper onto the rainbow page, and it says section A. 
So let's look at our rainbow page. And can you find section A? You're right, section A is this really, really big one. And so I told you that I had not cut my paper yet. So you know what? It really doesn't take long to just tear this up. Okay. And so what we're going to do, we're going to follow that direction. And we are going to glue Some of your kids are also working on opening containers. That's this why sometimes it's hard for me too. Okay, that's a very good functional skill. All right, so put your glue all over where the letter A is. This is a good time to practice your staying in the lines. If you would rather your child just individually put glue on the paper, you can do that as well. Okay, so we're just going to do this together kind of quick because I think you get the idea. So it says we're going to put the red paper in the letter A. Boy, I so wish that you guys were here to help me. This isn't nearly as fun without you being right here. So I'm just going to put my red paper up here on the section A, um, your kids will probably tell you, because we've done things like this before, I say leave no what? White. I don't want to see any white space where you're supposed to have a color. So I tried. And it's going to look something like that. Now if you cut your paper, especially if you let your children cut it and it's not in in little perfect squares it may look even cooler than this i like some texture to mine so that's why i tore it okay so we can check we did number one let's look at number two glue yellow pieces onto section b well where's section b there it is bouncy bin so you can put your glue all in that section okay it's a good time to practice staying in the lines. These are good, bold lines. I like those. Okay, so I've got my yellow paper. Like I said, I didn't do this beforehand, but it won't take me long to just tear, tear, tear some paper. Or cut, or if you want to have it pre-cut. This is such a good activity to practice several different skills. Okay. So let's look at section B, and we're going to put our yellow right there. Okay, so let me do that really quick. This would be a good time while you're working to maybe listen to some of your favorite music, maybe some calming music, maybe whatever kind of music makes you happy. Sometimes you guys like just some calming work music while you work. So look, like, that didn't take long at all. Okay, so that was number two. Check. Let's look at number three. Glue green pieces onto section C. Okay, where's C? Right, it's the next one, and it's a little bit smaller than this one. They're getting smaller. So let's put your glue. And see, remember, try to stay in the lines. Okay, so I got my glue there. And what color did it say? Oh, I don't remember. We might need to go back and look. If we don't remember, we gotta go back and look, right? Green. Okay, so let me get out my green. And I'm gonna stick it right here on C. believe they didn't want to help me with this. I'm going to get those little rascals. I was joking. They're working. Okay. It's looking so good, guys. All right, so check. And then the last, or well, not the last one, number four, it says glue, blue, but I marked it out, put orange, pieces onto section D. So, 
I'm going to put some glue on section D, try to stay in the lines. Okay. And like I said, normally you would have some blue. That's what color is supposed to go there. I didn't have blue. And I think that we still get the idea, even though these are not the correct colors. It'll be okay. Okay. So it looks pretty good. And then the last one, we could check off four. Number five, tape the rainbow picture onto the window for others to see. So like I said, I my house does not sit close to um, a road where people can see it. But I think I'll hang mine up. I may hang it over there on my closet door. Or I may go hang it up on the refrigerator so that people in my house can see it and be happy. Or I may sign my name to it. Let me do that. And then I could mail this or I could send it to my mom or my dad or my friend or somebody. Because guess what? Adults in your life and kids in your life love getting homemade things, especially when you sign them. You know what else I would do? I'd put the date on it. I would pick April 2020. Okay. I think my mom's going to love this. I'm going to go mail it to her. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Have fun making your rainbows.